Instead of going under, cause I'm in too deep And I'm trying to keep all the thoughts in my head Instead of going under Alright, it'll be joining me soon Yeah, just go ahead and start re- I've been recording for five minutes already Get going, brother Well, I'm recording now oh. Epic Okay Welcome back to Garfonomics, the world's best official, unofficial Garfield-based economics and politics podcast. I'm your host, and I am joined today by a very special guest, the literature expert, who is here today to talk with us about the importance of the written work in uh, not only the academic space, but also in the cultural space. So welcome to the show, literature expert. How are you doing today? I... I'm doing on a scale of 1 to 10, mm-hmm. 7.3, just like Dave Portnoy is fucking uh, piece of shit. Uh, that's, you know what? That's pretty good. That's what I like to hear. I, I think 7.3, that's above average. So that means pretty good in my book. Yeah. 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 I've, got, uh, I've got a flowy, in honor of the uh, subject matter for today, I've got sort of a flowy white aristocratic uh shirt on i kind of look like oscar wilde if he took the coat off uh Mm. yeah and i'm drinking a coffee that is well it was made so poorly uh it tastes more like water than it does taste like coffee but uh i'm trying to get in the headspace of a writer a writer who's addicted to caffeine and cigarettes but um well i'm not addicted to cigarettes but i mean coffee coffee's a Definitely a, a good one. It's a classic. Anytime I see a guy down at the uh, the coffee shop who looks like a guy who's engaging in the literary pursuits, uh, he's got a journal open, he's, he's penning in, or he's on a laptop, he's on a MacBook, whatever. Uh, he always looks like a disgruntled guy between the ages of 35 to 45, long hair, smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee, uh, does not want to be bothered. And uh, probably goes to Starbucks a little too much too. Uh, no. Oh no, he's too good for Starbucks. He only goes oh. to the uh, he only goes to the boutique, local okay. coffee shops. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Yeah, uh, okay. you know, I had a. I was actually I was on a airplane ride. I went to. Um, I flew from DFW to Portland, Oregon, and uh, on the plane ride over there, I was sat next to this guy who looked. Exactly like one of the consultants from Office Space, if you've ever seen that movie. I've seen that movie. That's a good movie. Yeah. So you know the consultants, uh, the dude with the glasses and the suspenders? Yeah. Like who, they're like, what do you do here? Okay, so this dude looked almost exactly like that. I sat next to him on the plane, and I was like, uh, hey, how's it going? And I sat next to him, and he like, he basically harumphed at me. And the, the entire plane ride, he was scribbling in like a notepad and he it looked mm. like he was writing something like a like a novel or a novella or something i have no idea but he, mm. he was mm. disgruntled and mm. uh just in his own head working that's, on something that's definitely a uh somebody who is in the literature space uh most of us are pretty mm-hmm. cranky very isolated uh read a little bit too much uh dark fantasy and uh you know, write to ourselves and think a little bit too much in our own thoughts. Yeah, I, I can see that. I can see you getting lost in your own head. I feel like when I see a literature guy, I can identify. You can spot them a mile away. They're, wow. in, the, they're in there. They're stewing. They're brewing. They got something cooking. And uh, you know what? I say let them cook. I say let's see what they got. Let's see what they're going to come out with. If you'd like to hear the full show, go to patreon.com. Flesh Gerfonomics and sign up to be a research funder which grants you early access to premium content.